Hello, I'm Yannis Zorofakis with uh, a quick message to friends, comrades, colleagues in, to the United States and beyond regarding uh, what else? The general election, the presidential election in America. How do I see the prospect of a very thin marginal victory by Joe Biden as the worst possible outcome? And let me explain that. I'm deeply happy that Trump is not going to be in the White House. But on the one hand, we have um, a resurgence, not a diminution of Trumpism and of the old right and of the neo-proto-fascist, uh, racist, uh, republican right wing. They feel strengthened by the outcome. They got millions more votes. And also this sense that they have, which is of course completely false, but nevertheless it is shared amongst them of having been robbed of the White House by the liberal establishment. This augurs ill for all of us because of the radicalization of this movement of, that combines racism and uh, a complete embracing of everything which is um, misanthropic, xenophobic and um, particularly regressive. Now let's look at our side of politics, progressive politics. The one good thing, the silver lining for us supporters of Bernie Sanders after Sanders was yet again uh, impeded by the establishment within the Democratic Party from becoming a genuine opposition to Donald Trump, from winning the, the nomination of the Democratic Party. The silver lining was that at least there was some collaboration between the Sanders team and the Biden team that produced a Green New Deal of sorts. Not what I would have liked, but um, an interesting, nevertheless, uh, economic policy to be implemented if uh, Biden and Harris won the presidency and also the Senate. The fact that Biden is not going to control the Senate and the fact that he has not had this landslide that he was banking on means that now a president that was originally unwilling to implement a genuinely progressive Green New Deal now has been liberated from the obligation to do so as a result of not controlling the Senate. So, in contrast to the Trumpist right, which is going to be united, radicalized, and also strengthened and reinforced by the fact that they are going to be in opposition, not to mention the fact that the next two years are going to see a Great Depression descending upon the United States, which is going to energize their opposition. In contrast to that, think of our side. We will have spent the last few months arguing amongst our own progressives that always saw Biden, quite correctly, as the representative of big business, that nevertheless they should hold their nose and vote for Biden because of the Green New Deal. And now there will be no Green New Deal. We will have, in other words, have helped put in the White House a president who is acting simply on behalf of big business, if he's acting at all, given the paralysis of the administration in view of the fact that it's not controlling the Senate. Had Trump won the White House, I would have been mourning, of course, but at least Democrats would be facing two or four years of uh, radicalization, of um, uh, rethinking and reorganizing. But now, the next two years will be a period during which only the Trumpists are going to be organizing, while we, progressives, are going to have to be defending a president who does not want to be on this, in the same camp as us against big business. As for the rest of the world, I very much fear the neocons that sided with Biden and who will be returning to the Pentagon and the State Department. I hope those fears are proven false. I'm pleased that the Bolsonaros, Modis, Le Pen, Salvinis and the rest of the nationalist xenophobic internationale are going to lose uh, their great supporter in the White House. But at the same time, we have, let us not forget, the radical center back in control of the White House and the Pentagon, and they have a very sorry record of interventions, of military adventures. I hope that they do not jeopardize the only good thing that uh, Trump did on the international stage, which is effectively not to start a new war. With greetings from Greece and the sincere hope that Joe Biden is going to prove me wrong, this is Yanis Varoufakis on behalf of DN25. Carpe diem. Let's continue the struggle 
we have a lot to do.